Hi guys, it's Skinboot here, and today what I'm going to be bringing you guys is actually a tutorial. I haven't done one of these in quite a while. Uh, however, I think that this tutorial is actually going to be really, really goddamn useful. And this tutorial is how to revert back to older builds of No Man's Sky using Steam. So, obviously, this is a PC exclusive thing. It's also fairly difficult and... Uh, quite complicated to some extent so try and pay attention and if you have any issues then let me know in the comments of the video but in case you don't know what i'm talking about essentially on steam no man's sky and other games are always updated frequently there isn't really a way you can legitimately revert back to old builds of the game you can with some games use the beta um, sort of like drop down menu to go back to older versions, but for the most part, it's not actually possible. The only way in which you can do it is by using a website called uh, Steam DB or Steam Database, and we're going to be doing a lot of crazy shit on there, getting a lot of uh, commands and, and all of that stuff. However, shouldn't be all too hard to follow. So, first and foremost, what you want to do is actually enable the console on Steam. Now, to do this, what I do is press the Windows key and R for Romeo on the keyboard and it brings up the run command and you just want to type this into the open part right here so steam colon two forward slashes open forward slash console hit ok once you've got that and at the top right hand bit of the screen uh, where the other stuff should be there is the console option from here you can type stuff in and basically give steam commands this is disabled by default because it's kind of like an advanced thing however that should enable it but not permanently if you exit out of steam the console will disappear but every time you bring up Windows key and R, the command should save. So it's not like it's too hard to, to keep doing it. But once you've got that up, that is the very first step. And from here, what we want to do is type in the following command. We want to go with download underscore depot, like so forth. So just leave it at that. Do a single space. And from here on out, Steam, we're not going to use that for a, a couple minutes. So you're going to want to go onto Chrome or wherever the fuck you use your internet. And you want to type in No Man's Sky, Steam, DB, like so forth. Should be the top result up here. And you want to click on this. So Steam DB is a really fucking useful website. It's got a load of stuff on here which you can look at. You can look at the, uh, the DLCs, packages... Uh, the player count ratings, you know all of that kind of stuff But the things which you want to look on here for are the app ID and we're going to be obviously looking into the depots So first and foremost, you just want to copy the app ID from no man's sky So this is right at the top here. Just hit copy on that You want to head back into steam and the single space after the command you put in you just want to paste that one number and then do again another space like so forth that's the first part done so then you want to head over to the depot part on the left this is where you have dlc's packages all of that kind of stuff and you want to find the one that says no man's sky content so what you can do is either copy this number straight away like so forth it's a little bit hard though because it's a, a link or if you want, you can actually click on the number and then this will save you a, a tiny bit of time. It's up to you. I'm just going to go back and simply get this number right here, the ID. I'm just going to copy that as well. I'm going to go back onto Steam and we're going to paste that number. Do another space. And this is the final part. So once we go back into the No Man's Sky content, you will see it come up with files, all of this boring shit. But the shit which you actually want is the tab called Manifests. And if you look down here, this will show you essentially every update to the main build of No Man's Sky on Steam. So you can see here we have August 10th, 2018. So around this time would be probably about 1.3, something like that. Or should I say no, a year ago would have been 1.3. Jesus Christ, time is fucking flying by. July will be like next era. But the earliest build of No Man's Sky, as you can see, is August 12th, 2016. So that isn't day one because No Man's Sky, I believe, didn't actually launch uh, without the day one patch. Um, but this is the earliest recorded build of No Man's Sky on Steam. So for argument's sake, we're just going to go with the earliest build because... Uh, you know, why the hell not? Should tell you, you know, how long ago it was, what time it was even updated, for whatever reason. But the thing which we need the most is the manifest ID, which is this big, fat hump of numbers 
on the side of the screen. So you want to grab whatever build you want, completely up to you, all the numbers work. However, for the purpose of the video, we're just going to go for the first one. So copy the number, head back into Steam on the console, and simply paste that number in once again. So in the end, it should look like this. Download depot, single space, No Man's Sky's ID, single space, the ID of the depot, so the main No Man's Sky depot, and a single space again for the precise manifest ID. There you go, that was extremely hard to say. But once you have all of that in, uh, you just wanna quite simply press enter, and it will come up right here as it is downloading. So this will download and to be honest, you won't actually know if it is downloading. The only way you will know how is if you obviously go to your regular downloads, you can see you'll get a download speed and the total and, and whatever. This will take however long it takes to download. This is only like two and a bit gig. So it shouldn't take that long if you're downloading this version. However, when you are done downloading it, a message will come up just underneath it saying essentially download successful and it will give you a link to where the actual depot or where the actual old build has downloaded to. So in my case, uh, if you hop into your files, mine was downloaded to my local disk C, program files 86 and then it was Steam and it was Steam apps and then it was in content. And then it will be one of these weird folders looking like this. And you'll notice that the number here is the same one which we used to download the specific build. So it will be in here. And then as you can see, these are the um, 2016 um, files, essentially. For the purpose of this video, um, that doesn't really need to download because I already have it here. So you can minimize Steam. You don't quite need it just yet. And of course, you can minimize basically everything you've got open and you can just head to your desktop. So once you have located the depot of the old build which you have downloaded, you wanna keep this open, but you also in a separate window wanna crack open your No Man's Sky directory. So this will be installed to wherever the hell you installed the game. Mine is in my recording drive. Um, so I'm gonna head on over to Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, No Man's Sky. And then once you're in No Man's Sky, basically all of the stuff which will be in this folder will be the current build of the game. So this is 1.76 or whatever it is at the moment. And in order to basically swap these out, you literally just have to change them over. It's, it's very, very simple. Now, what I would suggest doing is that for the old build, I would make a copy of this. So, you know, copy the contents of the old files and maybe make a folder on your desktop, calling it, say, No Man's Sky, August 12th, 2016, something like that. This means that if you want to revert back to other builds or the original build or the newest build or whatever, you don't have to go through the Steam console every single time and download the depot every single time. Likewise, with the um, the regular part of No Man's Sky, the up-to-date files, I would most definitely make a copy of these because these will have your saves in them, these will have your mods if you have anything like that. And of course, you're gonna need to, to get back to this version of No Man's Sky. So what I did was um, I went into my folders, I have a No Man's Sky content folder. And as you can see here, I made a folder, No Man's Sky August 12th with the old build, and then No Man's Sky current um, with what would be the folders, but I've moved them back in. So I would make a copy of them um, just to ensure that nothing will go wrong, which is extremely unlikely anyway. But if we were to do that, uh, so right now we're just going to um, cut these out of here and we're going to go back to our folder which we just made and we're just going to paste them in right there. So then if we head back to No Man's Sky, as you can see here, the folder will be empty. However, the 2018 version of No Man's Sky will still be in that folder you just created. So it's essentially a cut and paste. That's all it is. And once that is done and your No Man's Sky folder is empty, you can go along and simply drag the contents of the old build into your No Man's Sky folder. Um, it will... Ah, okay. So that doesn't work because Steam's open. So we can just... Uh, 
exit out of that and then eventually as you can see here it will have the old data so you can tell this is old because there isn't a, a shader cache for a start so we haven't actually booted up the game so there isn't um, all the shaders and stuff like that that is loaded However, once that has been done, that is really all there is to do. Some people are stating that uh, it's best to boot up the EXE found in the folders instead of going into Steam and then open it, all of that shit. But if you were to go into Steam and boot up No Man's Sky as normal, then this will just boot up in the 2016 build. I can't show you that because um, it's Shadowplay and Shadowplay will freak out, but you have to trust me when you get to this stage, boot it up and you'll see it works. Now, the only thing which I will bring up as like a final kind of um, warning is that Steam obviously updates games quite regularly or whenever the developers push an update for the game. So in terms of No Man's Sky, I did this this morning. I was messing around with uh, basically 1.05 or whatever the original build was before the or after the day one patch, should I say. Um, and 1.76 was released. So that downloaded and then broke the game. So in that case, you can either not download the newest build of the game or you can quite simply go into your folder uh, your No Man's Sky directory take out the old build replace it with the new one and it will work just as it should do essentially if you want to switch between builds it's simply a matter of cutting and pasting like we did before but you can do it with any version you can do it with 1.1 1.2 the only things you can't do are the private builds you can't do it with the old build test the internal build experimental you can do but you can just do that through opting into the experimental build without fucking around with the console. In terms of updating, just keep an eye on it. And if it does end up breaking your game, simply revert back to the um, folders which you would have created. In this case, the current build of No Man's Sky and simply swap it over. But that is just about everything to say for this tutorial. Um, I do hope that that helped. I know it is kind of confusing, but uh, all of the commands which I used will be in the description of the video for you to check out out and uh, refer to if you don't want to keep rewinding the video and, and such but i just want to say thank you very much guys for watching this i do hope it helped and if it did help then please do feel free to leave a like on the video and if you guys could also subscribe to mzk then i'd be absolutely fantastic and as always i will see you guys on my next video this is skin boot